The project goes back to the year 1985. A very dedicated policeman by the name of Patrolman Rodolfo Hodilla conceived of the idea of uh, forming a scout team out of the children who are living in the streets, sleeping in the sidewalks. Since obviously he had no funding to support this uh, project, he approached some members of the Rotary Club of Cebu for support. And so the scouting team was formed. The Rotary Club of Cebu supported the team by funding their jamborees, their camping, and other scouting activities. In the beginning, there were only about 10 or 12 of these street children who joined the community scouts. But uh, after some time, it became attractive to other street children so that it swelled to more than 15, 20, 25. This is a project which is really worthy of the support of Rotary Club of Cebu because it addresses the very basic uh, human needs in terms of uh, poverty alleviation, in terms of giving opportunities to the destitute who otherwise would not be able to make it in uh, life. And uh, towards this end, the Rotary Club of Cebu has seen to it that uh, these children are housed in one place and uh, given the opportunity to have education. First, they are given some sort of a home. They live together in a commune. There is a foster mother. Actually, it's provided by the government, who is a social worker and then um, we always encourage them to go to school we cannot force them but we encourage them to go to school uh, some of them in fact have graduated from not only elementary not only college uh, but some have uh, graduated from vocational training such as site the ite Hi, my name is Linolin Carzon Kabalikan. I am living in Community Scout Youth Garden Center. I lived there for almost 13 years. My uncle Ben brought me here. 
because my mother um, abandoned me when I was still eight years old. First, I felt so down because I was being neglected by my parents or by my mother. But then later and sooner, I realized that being here is one of the key in order to develop or to enhance myself and to finish, of course, my study, then to meet my goals in life. Now I'm currently working as an ESL teacher in Waku Work, English company. Children here have different kind of stories in life. Some are neglected, some are crying, witness. Um, even though we have different stories in life, what made us um, united is that we want to have a better life in the future. Difficulties in life, especially me, I am being neglected by my mother. And even though I have relatives right now, but they were not able to support me. So just stand for your own sake. Don't think that you are the less privileged of all the people here. Because there will always be people who will need you. There will always be people who will ask for your help. Then just keep in touch to everyone, still connected to everyone, especially to our God. And then always pray, then believe in yourself. We must understand that uh, the wards in the center, we call this center, actually come from the roaming boys and children in the streets. They are roaming there because they are driven by poverty outside their home, outside their family. Some of them have been caught snatching snatching items like this, shoplifting, and there are a few who were caught sniffing rugby to allay the pain of hunger and hopelessness. The kind of uh, children or boys that are here are the very ones you see roaming in the streets, begging, you know, when you stop your car, usually they're, they're knocking. These are the same boys, exactly. But uh, because they are now in the center, they can look forward to a better future than just by begging or snatching or shoplifting. Ako dahi si Stephen, standby ka sa Dallan, then yun ang halos tanan bisyo ako nga sa Dallan, then tungod sa kalisod sa among situation then naka uh, decide ko nga kanang mununong ko sa akong eskwela at the age of 10 kay grabe na kaya akong bisyo nga nasudlan then tungod niya na kanang naka-engage ko pag pangisnat mangawat ko before then there are times nga usa ko sa kanang mangilad grabe akong mga kabuang sa una then i also experience I've been prison for tilaka times nga lakpan ko nya magsudgawas ko sa pisuhan then hangtod nya kanang nakita ko gamigo nga gikan sa Community Scout Youth Guidance Center then tungod nya na kay naka witness ko nga night changes sa iya then usapod sa naka padani or nakapa-encourage na ko nga mo adto ko sa Community Scout Center which is mao ni akong gipoyan then tungod niya na kay nahinay na ko nga nabian ang akong bisyo then di na ko na enjoy ang akong pagabata kay before wala ko gid na ko na siya na experience dayon usa sa nag suporta gid sa among center kay mao ang uh, Rotary Club of Cebu then dako kay siyang katabang na mo kay Tungod niya ni kay dili na mi maglayas pa sa dalan kay naa na mi tarong nga kapuy-an gitagaan mi nilag mga TV, ref, ug uban pang mga gamit nga kinanglanon gayud namo. Then nagsuporta pud sila namo gyud og kanang when it comes of education. Mga maghatag pud sila namo og mga libro, mga libre gyud nga books para among matun-an. 
Then tungod niyan na na nausab gid mi kay nakalimtan na mo nga mo mga bisyo then tungod niyan na naapod ni panglantaw na sa mga kalingon kay sila mismo naghatag man nagpakita man sila namo og maayong example kay ang makita na mo nga ilang gipakita na mo nga wala gay imposible basta man ning kamot gyud helping the destitute the otherwise hopeless is always a, a great uh, task and a very commendable task and that falls in line with the objective of rotary service to humanity is the gratefulness of the person because after our activity they really say thank you kuya thank you for visiting us here thank you for giving us your time so it gives us a strength to give more activities to the person or like them